Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Jason Zelmer, and I'm the National Director of Practice Growth and Sales with the Orem Group. Uh, and thank you for tuning in. Um, we are starting our stay at home series. We're trying to bring you some exciting personal development. We're trying to bring you, you know, keep your minds fresh during this downtime that we're all having right now. Um, and I have a very special guest today. And what you're going to get today is a little bit of a teaser to the full deal next week. Um, so without further ado, I would like everybody to say hi to Dr. Romy in the house. Now, if you know Dr. Romy and if you've been to any of her talks, you probably really don't need an introduction. She was just here in Calgary not too long ago and the feedback has been overwhelming as far as what she's brought to people. So uh, Dr. Romy is a traditionally trained neurologist. She's got over 20 years experience and with an additional board certification in integrative medicine. Um, she brings together Western and Eastern medicine and wisdom to help individuals and audiences learn how to heal from stress-based illnesses, achieve peak performance, and harness the power of mindful leadership. But enough from me, I will let her tell you a little bit more. So Dr. Romy, what can you tell us? Oh, good afternoon, Jason. It's so great to join you today and be reconnected with the Orem Group and all of your clients. And as everyone knows, I'm your homie, Dr. Romy, bringing this world of medicine and mindfulness together. I serve as Chief Wellness Officer at Evolution Hospitality, where we've actually scientifically researched and scaled these mindfulness and wellness programs to now over 7,000 employees. 7,000? Yes, yeah. Let's get it. Let's get that number up, shall we? I love that. I'm a, a physician on a mission to say, how are we changing the conversation around brain and mental health in the workplace? That before the crisis of this global pandemic and the economic ramifications it's had in every industry, we already knew that we were stressed out at our jobs here in North America and in Europe, where the entire Orem Group client base is. And now we need to pause and reassess because I mean, can we just have some Romy real talk, Jason? Like how many articles are you tired of reading in the leadership magazines that are like, how do you effectively work from home? So get up, shower, shave, set a schedule. In fact, learn a foreign language between homeschooling your kids and everybody just has a smile on and you see another meme flow by on Instagram and you double tap it like it's all positive, but there's something else that's brewing deep inside with the conversations I'm having with C-suite level executives and the professional athletes I've worked with, and it's panic. With yeah. a pandemic comes panic. And I want to help everybody. How do we rise above the panic, Jason? Well, and it's interesting you say that because before we went into this pandemic, what you were teaching was so important. And I saw it in the faces of over 100 people uh, not too long ago. Now we're in this full-blown pandemic like we've never seen in our lifetime and I think it's everybody's have to trying to figure out what does a new normal look like and to not panic I know with the Orem group you know we've got great leadership here and we're really what we're trying to do is is make breakthroughs from breakdowns and I know that you do talk about that kind of stuff and we're we're, we're finding ways to reinvent ourselves instead of letting things just pass and try to get back to normal I don't think things are going to be the way that they were after all of this. I think we're gonna to have to really take a hard look at, at how we operate. One thing that's ever gonna change though is de-stressing uh, for, for the lives that we live in. You know, I've got a few questions for you today. And really, you know, what I, again, what I want is for people to get a sense of what they're gonna get from you if they come and attend uh, next week. And ultimately when we have you back and, and these big in-person in events, Yes. Um, because your energy is infectious and it's infectious in the room, but I can still feel it through the computer. So anybody that comes and joins us next week is going to be extremely lucky. So um, would you like me to get to these questions or have you got anything else? Well, I, first of all, I really love that the Orm group uh, focuses both on personal development and professional development. And what you said about finding a breakthrough after a breakdown, I want to acknowledge that probably everybody watching this interview and that you're going to join us for the webinar next week after you see this uh, interview is going through some kind of breakdown right now. And we are all laying off team members or furloughing employees. And gosh, those financial projections that we had going into 2020, they are a distant memory, just like the ability to find toilet paper, isn't it, right? I got some today. 
I got you some got toilet paper. Somebody must love you, Jason. I got a six pack paper. from our marketing guy for my birthday today. I mean, wow, is that not like a gold bar? It is. I mean, we're living in this alternate universe where toilet paper costs more than my designer high heel shoes. Like, did we ever think we would get here when you and I met in person shortly after you started this position with Orem Group? And, and here you are. But, you know, the truth of the reality is, is there's two things happening right now is one, we need to be honest and face our fears and the stress. And we're going to talk about that in the webinar in detail next week, because here's the idea is we need to, number one, reset ourselves so that we can walk through from breaking down into a breakthrough. But also, it's everyone on this call are people like you and I. We're type A, unapologetic, success-driven professionals. We need to find that new normal before everybody else does because we're leading organizations and teams to do it. And I want to help people do it. And it's all based in science. My 20 plus years experience in neurology, integrative medicine, and mindfulness. And we're going to bring it all together in one action-packed hour. That's awesome. And I should mention it because I know somebody's going to make a comment about the size of my coffee mug. This is the sponsor today, the world's biggest coffee mug. So go ahead, make your jokes. <laughs> and you know, that's one of my points of the busy brain. Do you need a cup of coffee as big as Jason's head to get your personality going in the morning? We have solutions for that. <laughs> the other side says, so it's only the greatest dad can handle a mug this cool. Very true. Very true. Yes. And I, mine's out of reach, but I've got my dainty Indian auntie chai cup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So question number one for you, what we can expect in the webinar next week, we can assume that everyone's stressed out in their current environments right now. Yeah. Do you have a different message about, about facing stress in our health. What is that? Yeah. No, I talk about the stress success cycle. Look, I'm an unapologetic type A driven personality. And after speaking and consulting, I've helped over 1.1 million similar executives, professionals like doctors and lawyers and athletes. We want to succeed, but we don't succeed at any cost. And that's stressing our minds and our physical body. I call that the stress success cycle. So we're actually next week, you're going to take a stress test and measure. Yeah, you're like, Romy, everybody's under stress right now with the pandemic, we're at home finding a new normal, but I want to put a number to it. And then we're going to talk about tangible solutions so that by the time this pandemic is over, we're bringing all of our stress numbers down to a healthy normal. That is fantastic. And I am scared to find out what my number is going to be, but we'll get there next week. Yes. Um, question number two, as a physician, what would you say to people listening who are feeling scared about the pandemic, the economy, and the way that this whole thing has changed our lives? I want you to know that having fear is normal. Nobody has really lived through a pandemic or economic crisis globally of this scale. And so what's dangerous often is when people try to polish it up like a good piece of silver and say, oh, no more tarnish, go on. We're not honoring the several steps I'm going to talk about in the webinar next week, which is one, facing your fear. Number two, how to shift that fear. And number three, how to connect to calm. Because listen, as a mindfulness and meditation advocate, and Jason, I know you practice mindfulness too, my meditation practice was hijacked with fear. I have family members all over the United States fighting at the front lines of this pandemic. I couldn't sit down and pause without worrying about them and their teams and our employees at Evolution Hospitality that have been furloughed in your practices. It's normal. And I want to help you do what I learned how to do in the last few weeks, which is face your fear shift out of fears and connect to calm. We're going to go through that in a proven way based on brain science and mindfulness, because I really want everybody in this period that we are at home in this new normal to find that breakthrough out of this breakdown. That's awesome. And I don't think there's a person listening that can't relate with what you just said. And you have to go back. I mean, to my knowledge, 102 years to the Spanish flu that we've ever dealt with anything at this level. So, um, yeah. This is going to expose a lot of, of gaps and that's where you're going to find that new normal. But, you know, the one thing I would say is um, after listening to you speak a couple of months ago, I used to be a person that had major sleep issues, not because I was stressed, but I have a very busy mind. I crawl in bed and I start thinking about all the things I got to do and 
I'm not sure if you can tell, but I'm just a very natural, high energy person. Absolutely. Um, I started meditating uh, about a year ago at 20 minutes before bed. I've, I can't describe in, in the, you know, the short period of time we have here today of how it's changed my sleep patterns and, and how I handle things. But, um, you know, I think everybody needs meditation in their life, whatever form that might be. Um, you know, I don't just talk about the brain science behind it, Jason. It's, I learned it literally 10 years ago at this same time. I wasn't a doctor. I was a patient. I had stressed myself out to the point that I was in a place to having life-saving surgery and precancerous lesions. And it was when I went home to sit with my Indian aunties who kept saying, Romi, beta, we told you, you are too stressed out. You need to do yoga. You need to meditate. And listen, Jason, back then it was really weird. There weren't yoga studios in every street corner or your watch reminding you, breathe, boy, right? None of that was there. And I found that path to mindfulness and it helped to heal me physically and bring me out of career burnout. And 10 years later, I'm healthy and alive and honestly more vibrant today than when I graduated from medical school 22 years ago. And it's because of my mindfulness practice. Well, I think I can speak for all of us that we're extremely grateful that you got through that. And now, you know, I love when I see stories of somebody that has been through the worst, but they've channeled their energy now to make sure that they're helping others get their best. I mean, to me, that's the ultimate purpose of someone. So um, I agree. And thank you. And you know what I want anybody even listening to this interview to know is it's okay if you're in a dark place right now because of the pandemic and the anxiety. You may have lost a job. You may have employees you had to furlough. You're worried about your bottom line. You're worried about the health of your family. You're not alone. And I want you to hear it from a, a fellow human who's been in that dark place. Let's join together and talk about a mindful path through the fear so we can rise above the panic because on this webinar, I know are the future leaders who are going to transform the industry coming out of this pandemic. Yes, and it's great because in the last four weeks, I've seen the best of human nature. I have seen people get off the sidelines and jump into the game and just without expecting anything in return, everybody's just chipping in. And I mean, imagine if we could do this all the time, you know, and I hope that this pandemic teaches us that, that don't wait for something like this to happen to be, to be kind to one another. Um, my last question for you is, what does it mean to brain shift and what will our attendees learn in your presentation? When we brain shift, we shift out of this stress success cycle. How do you know you're in it? Well, we kind of talked about it. You wake up in the morning, you're feeling anxious and you need to check the news and you want to hear the latest thing of what's going on in the pandemic or in the world of celebrity gossip to, you know, to distract yourself. You need a lot of caffeine or maybe even a stimulant like Ritalin to get you going. But as you're going through the day, you're starting to feel a little anxious and you can't focus. You're having a hard time sitting through this interview. So when your last virtual webinar, you're done homeschooling your kids right now, you say, I deserve that glass of wine or a stiff drink. And then when you try to go to sleep, your brain is running a marathon and you're worried about the pandemic and you're worried about the economy and all the things and you can't shut it off and you can't sleep and then you start the cycle all over again. When we brain shift, you will face your fear and learn how to shift and connect a column so that you're waking up feeling energized. You are going to create a routine for yourself that works for you and your loved ones that are in your home. And when we get out of this pandemic on the other side, my intention is anybody on this webinar is now developing the skills so that they are the people that are leading others in what is now the new normal. Awesome. Yeah. I think that is so important. and. Um... You know, there's, there's two things that I would add to it, which is one, time is the only limited commodity. Once you spend it, you can't get it back. You have to decide where to spend it. I really hope that over the next few weeks that people are deciding to spend it with us. And, you know, a message I'm always telling people, no matter what the context is, invest in yourself. And I mean, one hour investment in yourself. Um, if you're not investing in yourself continuously, you are not your best self. And if you're not your best self, how can you help others? Um, so I'm a big, big nerd of personal development. I know you are, um, and anybody watching next week and, and in the future, most likely is in that same boat. Um, so we're so excited, so excited to have you now. 
anybody that's watching this that hasn't gotten a link yet, um, Dr. Romy and I are on next week on Tuesday the 7th, right? Yes. Pull up a cup of chai if you want to join me and the other, other aunties or bring that big whomping cup of mug of coffee like Jason had. <laughs> Massive. And I'm, I'm hoping to hear the story of how your whole family's trying to make you find a husband or trying to help you find a husband too. Maybe when you're on Zoom, somebody will propose to you. Huh. You never know. There could be somebody on Zoom that is the perfect match for you. Could you imagine if that happened? I would Are you negotiating my dowry with the Indian aunties right now, Jason? You better step on out. Oh, my God. The Indian aunties got to you. Lord, have mercy. You know what? Let's leave that for another <laughs> webinar. I think there's something there. <laughs> but I have, that's all the questions I have today. Next Tuesday, April 7th, 2 o'clock Mountain, 4 o'clock Eastern. Uh, when we repost this video to our social channels, we will provide the link. Um, it only accepts 500 people. We've already had quite a few people sign up. So it's not something that I would hesitate on. And that's it. That's all I have today. Anything further from you, Dr. Romy? No, thank you. Join us because really we are creating a place where you will truly be able to face your fear, brain shift, and come out of this leading change. Oh, got shivers just now. So, and you know, for everyone else, stay safe. Um, wash your hands and really, really hold the people that you love close to you right now. I can't wait to see you all next week. Take care.